the U.S. opened one of the most prestigious tennis tournaments in the world, experienced an unexpected and bizarre interruption on Monday, leaving players and spectators in a state of confusion. Matches across several courts, including the famed Arthur Ashe and Louis Armstrong stadiums, were abruptly suspended for several minutes due to a disruption in the Hawkeye system, the electronic line calling technology that has replaced human line judges at the tournament. The incident occurred during the fourth round matches of high profile players such as Caroline Wozniacki and Daniil Medvedev. Both players, along with their opponents, were left stranded on court as the chaos unfolded. It soon became apparent that a fire alarm had gone off in the broadcast building, a facility that also houses the team responsible for operating the Hawkeye system at the U.S. Open. In New York, unlike at Wimbledon where human line judges are still employed on the courts, the Hawkeye system is exclusively used for making critical line calls. This reliance on technology is supposed to streamline the officiating process and reduce human error, but the events of Monday underscored that even advanced technology can be vulnerable to unforeseen disruptions. As the fire alarm blared, the broadcast building was promptly evacuated, including the team managing the Hawkeye system. The evacuation forced a suspension of play across all courts for six minutes, leading to confusion among players, umpires, and fans. The situation was unprecedented, and umpires were left scrambling to explain the disruption to both the athletes and the spectators. The organizers released a statement shortly after the incident, clarifying the situation. Following the determination that this was only an alarm, play was resumed. In total, play was halted for six minutes. While the stoppage was brief, it caused a noticeable ripple across the tournament, affecting the rhythm of matches that were in progress at the time. For Daniil Medvedev, the disruption occurred during his fourth round clash with Portugal's Nuno Borges on Arthur Ashe Stadium. Despite the brief pause in play, Medvedev maintained his momentum, cruising to a dominant victory with a scoreline of 6-0, 6-1, 6-3, securing his spot in the quarterfinals. The Russian star, known for his calm demeanor on court, appeared unfazed by the interruption and continued to display his usual clinical precision once play resumed. On Louis Armstrong Stadium, Caroline Wozniacki was in the midst of her match against Brazil's Beatrice Haddad Maia the number 22 seed. The delay, though disruptive, did not seem to significantly impact the flow of the match and Wozniacki, a former world number one making a comeback after retiring in 2020, continued her battle on court after play was resumed. The Danish player, who has been one of the major stories of the tournament, showed her resilience in the face of an unusual situation. The bizarre episode highlighted the delicate balance between technology and traditional elements in modern tennis. While systems like Hawkeye have largely been welcomed for their accuracy and impartiality, the incident served as a reminder that even the most advanced systems can be susceptible to unexpected failures. The reliance on technology, though beneficial in many respects, also introduces new vulnerabilities that can disrupt the flow of a major sporting event. Outside of the drama caused by the fire alarm, it was a day of significant achievements on the courts of Flushing Meadows. Earlier in the day, British number one Jack Draper made headlines by demolishing Tomas McCack to reach his first Grand Slam core final. Draper's performance was nothing short of sensational as he overpowered his opponent with a display of power and precision. At just 22 years old, Draper became the first British man to reach the last eight of the U.S. Open since Andy Murray in 2016, cementing his status as one of the rising stars of British tennis. Draper's success follows in the footsteps of fellow Brit Emma Raducanu, who famously won the U.S. Open in 2021. His progress to the quarterfinals is a testament to the depth of talent emerging from British tennis, offering hope for the future as the country looks to build on the legacy of players like Murray and Raducanu. As the tournament continues, the brief disruption on Monday will likely be remembered as a footnote in what has been an otherwise thrilling U.S. Open. The incident, while unusual, was handled efficiently by tournament organizers, allowing play to resume quickly and ensuring that the focus remained on the athletes and their performances. For players like Medvedev, Wozniacki, and Draper, the interruption was a mere blip in their pursuit of Grand Slam glory, and as the tournament progresses, they will undoubtedly be looking to build on their momentum and chase their dreams of lifting the coveted trophy at Flushing Meadows.